You are listening to Power Stance Gamers Podcast, the best place for quality tabletop venture. With your hosts, Jacob, Greg, and Muddy. Welcome, everyone, to the first official episode of Power Stance Gamers. I am your host, Jacob Connor. It's a pleasure to be here tonight with two interesting gentlemen. I've got um, some dancing going on in front of me right now. That's how keen we all are. First off, I'll introduce to my l- right, I've got Greg. How you doing, Greg? Good, man. How are you? I've got Bloody Muddy here dancing in front of me, and it's not a good look. That's all right. Um, so, good result for Northern Ireland against Norway the other night? Unbelievable result, man. I'm, I'm even now contemplating buying a ticket to go to Russia. Oh, that's a big call. <laughs> and uh, call. while we've got Norway on the line, I've got Muddy here to my left, who um, just come back, won winning best sports at a seal clubbing tournament over in Norway. Oh, yeah. yeah. How's yeah, that go? <laughs> yeah, uh, I put a lot of effort in there. <laughs> well, they're, they're only all baby that, seals. It's only one or two wax. practice in the backyard with my uh, little dogs running around. Uh, it's like Rocky. <laughs> Didn't it? What is he chasing the chicken up the stairs? Is that what he does in the... The Rocky. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. That has totally set the tone for this week's episode, I have a feeling. Um, we're going to have a really I'd quick... I'd just like to say, though, I... for all the little penguins, the little penguins and seals... Mm. No penguins and seals are hurt in the making of this podcast, <laughs> all right? Just put that out there before I get hate mail. <laughs> all right. All right, so before we start, we'll just do our uh, usual whip around. Uh, Today's question um, is, what was the last game you played? And we'll go back to Muddy for this one. Oh, yeah, thanks. Because does Rome 2 count? I believe it does. It's a game. Oh, yeah. Spot up. Uh, Yeah, Rome 2. Played a few games. I still haven't played online. Um, I'll put this to you guys. I don't like going online. I've got a fear factor Mm. of playing people online. I... I can play the computer. I've got it on super hard, baby. <laughs> but I can't. I know that if I go online, I'm probably going to get my ass handed what, you're to like me. Tr- get trolled? Like twelve year olds or something. Oh, and, right. I, and, or, and I'm going to do the etiquette thing wrong. Like, oh, they're chatting to me, and I don't know how to chat or something. Yeah. So it, anyway, it can be a bit nerve wracking. Rome too. Um, oldie. Well, it's not old, but it's not. It's not total Warhammer. Which oh oh. Drum roll. Can you insert a drum roll? I can have. A oh probably not. man. I, like literally, we're about to get. Make. We're about to get the announcement. Uh, Total Warhammer 2 is coming out, and it looks like lizards and high elves. Are, um, are you saying, sorry, are you saying live? We're going to get the uh, update like coming through tonight? I don't know. what. I think it comes in tomorrow morning, I oh, think. Okay, I'm pretty you. sure. Okay. Yeah, but it's literally, they're going to announce uh, essentially the next game. Um, they're going to, it's a three, it's going to be three uh, games, uh, the Warhammer one. And lizards and high elves are rumoured to be in the next one. This is Warhammer that died, yeah. Yeah, yeah, on yeah. but on the computer, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's it good because it died. They could buy the IP and put it into. into Man, the this game. thing's gonna make them a mint. It's 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 a big seller. Uh, Total Warhammer is actually doing really well. For me, the... it doesn't have it doesn't have the real dice. Oh, it have the real dice. yeah, but it's got the cool graphics and yeah. like you can watch them. Yeah. Oh, I, I still prefer like to look at Greg's the... high elves than uh, the computer's version of it. Yeah, yeah. all right, all right, but it, you, your miniatures don't move around and <laughs> point, point their finger at. And, Stick their blade in them, and all that sort of stuff. Like, can you imagine a herd of stegodons come belting down, down the mountainside into yeah, the flank right. of a yeah, bunch yeah. of skaven and just watching skaven little models go flying? Like, oh, they're jizzing up. I'm jizzing up. <laughs> <laughs> right there, right. <laughs> all right. So, Rome, Rome two. Was yes. The last game you played. Thanks yes. yep. very much, Greg. What was the last game you played, mate? Matt. Um, yeah, I've been quiet, quiet week. To be honest, um, yeah, busy on the painting front yep, there. Yep, yep. Just trying to smash this this model out um, for the MyCast uh, competition, which is due on Sunday, Monday morning. MyCast is the Infinity Podcast. Um, I'm calling controversy here. I'm calling shenanigans. <laughs> Why? Why? This is not gaming. This is not playing. You oh, didn't no, play any did, games, yeah, did you? Yeah, 100%. No, he didn't, I didn't play yep, any games. I'm, I'm guilty as charged, Your Honour. Referee. Uh, That's yep, a free yep. kick. That's a free well, kick. What I have done, uh, what I have done, is signed up to Roy Lee Cartwright's, uh, aka also known as the Champ, the Champ Cancun yeah, Champ, Ca- yeah. Cancun this year. I uh, signed up to his Slow Grow, Slow Grow Slow League. Grow. Yeah, so that's good. But I've, I've been a bit of a pussy in that. You're supposed to, uh, you're supposed to really uh, sign up for a new faction, new army. Oh, oh yeah. So you're yeah. cheating, and I haven't. So you've 
You're even cheating. Not really cheating. Oh, it's so just being new sectorial instead. Yeah. Nia All right. Terror. So yeah. shenanigans. Yep. Yeah. That's just two, that's two lots of shenanigans. No, it's not just been Rory. Lazy. If you're listening, <laughs> shenanigans. <laughs> Call him. All Call right. him out. We'll, we'll um, DM him on socials after this just to make sure he gets it. Um, and myself, the last game I played was last night with last night. Wednesday night. Two nights ago. It wasn't last night because the torrential downpour. Two nights ago with uh, JT and Mike Carroll come round to observe. We played um, Black Ops, Osprey Black Ops. Oh, he's branching out with it. Um, and it was another massive game. Last turn. With the rules right. Rules right. Yes, we got it right this time. <laughs> JT managed to um, black bag the HVT and get him in the SUV. Did he get it out? Board. He got it out. Oh. He, not uh, like you. Not like how you performed. That was a my. <laughs> that was John O's performance. Typical American. He run stood in there shooting everything. Couldn't. Oh, yeah, I sh- oh, buckets of bullets, buckets of bullets. But Jono, w- w- he couldn't climb over the wall. Like, right. he's, like, <laughs> this guy's shooting down at us. like, get up, get, get over the wall, mate. Oh, no, falling over, twist the ankle. Mm-hmm. Oh, great, we'll send the other guy. Oh, no, he's falling over and, I don't know, hit his head. Like, well, what was he playing? He was playing like, what, what guys the were operators. they? Operators. He was operators. Yeah, yeah. 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 they're awesome. The elites, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the elites, yeah. I think I reckon their bank balance might look elite, but they won't do it so well. A review game. of a, the black op. Uh, Black Ops by Osprey would make a really good episode. That, yeah, yeah. That'll, that'll be coming. Yeah. That'd be fun. Or, or maybe the Osprey games in general because there's also Rogue Stars. Yeah, Rogue Stars is one we've got. Broken, Broken Legions. Legions. They've got another one um, of Gods and yeah, oh, Hades or something as yeah. well, which Broken I think heaps. is one we might like because it's it seems more like you take your normal dudes like we did before, yep. but the Gods actually on the, your side rather than a random And then random, yeah. yeah. It's yep. probably just worth noting though also that it's not a straight game as in you just you don't you don't buy the rules and the and the miniatures. You got to buy you know the rules are a complete standalone yep. rule yeah. book, and then you got to buy the miniatures separately. Yep. I've also got um, Ronin, the the one for the like feudal Japanese scare machine that looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, it'll go well with my historical Japanese army, muddy, won't it? <gasps> that I'm not getting. Get just to break his Get little heart there. It's happening. It's happening. Um, it was on Kickstarter, wasn't it? it? What the Ronin one? Which it was one. Which is that the Warlord one or the? No, it was um, it's an Osprey one. Oh right, 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 the, right, right. Ronin's the Os- Osprey. Rubik, yeah, sorry, yeah. I thought you were talking about the miniatures because um, Warlords just brought out a a, a skirmishy g- feudal Japan type thing. There was one on Kickstarter that looked ridiculously awesome. Oh, yes, the ones with the yes, yes, like yes, far uh, like, yes, oh. yeah. And he won't. He's still not. He's resisting. The uh, the only thing with um the game last night that JT my Two Spartans thrusting their spear into your little feudal Japan. I, I imagine that they'd look at it. I think they. I think shiny Japanese boy game. and go, "That's that's right up my spot." Yeah, now, yeah they you. would. They'd love it. <laughs> <laughs> um, last night though, JT was very quick to point out that he felt that the stealth mechanics left me out of the game because I kept waiting for those guards to activate, and uh, I kept saying, "No, no, no, it's fine." Because when you know, extra minute hits the fan, it's going to be intense. And it yep. was. As soon as he busted in, did the room clear, killed my ace, set the alarm off, um, he had RPGs flying at him. Yeah, it gets, real, right it gets real pretty quick, doesn't Once it? Once that alarm goes off, you're in You're in a bit of poo. Yeah. yeah. But no, it was good. It was a really good game. And as always, JT is an amazing opponent and we had a lot of fun. So we're keen to get him on board. He wants to, we just run with the pre-made list we've been using. So he wants the rules and check them out and start coming up with some lists. His, of his own, so yep. it's always positive. Yep. That's and right up his alley anyway, isn't it? Yeah, a little tactical stuff. Yeah, he's got a real brain for that. tactical thing, yeah. yeah. I mean, he's huge on infin- It's kind of infinity. Infinity, really. yeah. It is, yeah. Just in a different setting, yeah. yeah. And, uh, I mean, he's I mean, obviously the new walk-off for South East Queensland, so... That's yeah, big. right, yeah. That's the liaison sort of dude, yeah. Yeah. It would be <laughs> good to get him on in future and talk about representing a community. Represent... After he does a few things, he's only just got the job. Yeah, so. he hasn't actually yeah. done anything yet. Well, what's a good way to speak about the job? Yeah, get out there. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, and also, conveniently, segues nicely into oh, the nice. main well done. segment tonight. Hey. Thank you. That's why my such name comes first. Such a pro. And that is what makes a great opponent. Now, this got some interesting chats on our socials. Uh, a lot of people have very interesting opinions of what makes a good opponent. And uh, before we go any further, I just want to put this out there to the boys and make sure our listeners know this. We're not talking about bad opponents tonight. We don't want to give those bastards any airtime. We yep. want to talk about what makes you know a bad good. You know what makes a bad opponent. You don't need any of us to say what it is. It's pretty obvious. 
That's it. So we just focus on it the good. It leaves a bad taste in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> is, that a, is that another Spartan thing? Am That's I, a or? Spartan line. <laughs> All right. So come on my shield or what? Come no? on my shield. <laughs> or let me poke you in the behind. Or carry it upon it. That's it for it. Now, um, God, we're going to have to... Sorry for your kids, Greg. I know, I know. <laughs> I, I can't mean, listen to this till at least. Mm, Nats. Easily yeah. downloadable. 18. I love to... 15, 18. What's the legal age? Uh, yeah, true. You have to have a credit card or something, don't you? To get a, an account, I'm pretty sure. On iTunes? Sure? Yeah. yeah. I don't yeah. know. I think you do. When can you get a credit card? Hey, 18. Isn't it? Yeah, so. Oh, yeah. Unless someone signs it for you. No, someone yeah, true. Us. Yeah. Not that that's going to bother any of our kids. Oh, no, I was going to give my, my kids eight, ten-year-old, five of them each, so they can run up huge debts, and then <laughs> I'll say, oh, I didn't know, and hopefully I'll get bailed yeah, out. we don't live in Greece. Someone will bail me out. Right? Someone. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Greece. Yeah. <laughs> yep. All right, so back once again to the topic at hand, what makes it a good opponent? And um, as I said, there were lots of lots of chat on the, on the socials about this. I think some interesting points came up. That we'll address as we speak, um, and we'll call out to the people that that brought them up. But uh, do you just want to get straight into it? I'd love to hear Greg's take on this. Yeah, thanks. Uh, yeah, so he's, he's prepared some yeah. notes. Yes, <laughs> put a great deal of thought into this. Good, good. Oh. I'll uh, I'll try and divulge now. Digital all, and written. That's he's gone. First of all, I want to just point out. So the the question was, what makes a great opponent? Okay? Great opponent. Good, great. <laughs> Are we saying there's a distinction? So the de- definition of great. I've got to hear my phone. Right. is of an extent, amount, or intensity considerably above average. Considerably above average. Above average. Yeah. Now, I know what we're talking about is quite subjective. So your definition and your definition, Jacob and Muddy, would be, could be slightly different to mine. However, at the end of the day, the, 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 the textbook definition is above average, considerably above average. So when you consider that, so what's, what's your average opponent? Now, to me, an average opponent is somebody that whenever you rock up, um, on time, uh, on time, yeah, you know, sort of pretty much knows their stuff, courteous to, to, to an extent, or, sh- or should know their stuff, courteous, courteous. doesn't yep. smell, um, respectable, doesn't smell. Um, what else? Uh, gets through the game quickly. Um, <laughs> While he's taking his shoes and socks off, <laughs> just get comfortable there. Jeff. <laughs> it's, it's, yep. it's Friday night. Give me a break. <laughs> yep, yep, had a yep. hard week. So, so I guess okay. So that's my that's my definition of average. So we're looking at something considerably more than that to, to be um, to be great so the, my next point is in this room in this very room we have great opponents because Jacob you've won best sports yeah Muddy you've won best sports and I believe I've also won best sports so that would hopefully put us towards that spectrum so the, the point I'm making here want to touch on is the fact that if I'm trying to define what's great, I'm looking at two dudes here that what I'm going to talk about now <laughs> what's you and the dancing dry comes out again. your bloody TV, Muddy um, it's because you can see his reflection in it yeah, yeah. Dancing or the qualities that that, uh, that you dudes have uh, so, and those qualities are um, enjoyable fun, fun um, don't take the game too seriously but play to win um, Jacob, in your case, you tries to win, <laughs> but unfortunately, your dice uh, <laughs> don't geez. always behave. I'd be in a straight jacket if I played to win. <laughs> um, humble is another uh, word to put down here. And uh, winning or losing with grace. And I think that's a really important one because I think um, you can you can win and be graceful, but I think it's also quite a difficult, um, or can be difficult, to, to lose with grace, to sit there and, and when it all goes to toffee, and I've seen it happen to you so many times, Thanks. when your dice are just going horribly wrong. And, you know, you just you shrug it off and get on with it. And all, we're always trying to win, though. You're always trying, even though regardless of the result, you're always still trying to, to push it. Yep. And I think, that's, I think that's a tremendous quality. I think that is, it's a great quality to have. Don't get me wrong. There have been times where I've apologized to my opponent at the end of the game saying, you deserve better. <laughs> You absolutely deserve better. And and the last one I can think of is when I played John Yance at JT's last Infinity Tournament. And he beat me halfway through his first turn. And and I just looked at him and said, mate, you, you deserve better. Like, I, I felt like I did not deliver in that game at all just because it was so one-sided. But some people like that in the opponent, I guess, just to steamroll. An easy win. Yeah, but John's not like that. He was, yeah. he was pretty cool about it. Yeah, so, so I think... Um, 
yeah, going back to that, I think, you know, what makes a great opponent? I think at the end of the day, somebody, and I, like I said, I've been there on the, on the, on the opposite side of like getting an absolute smash. And, and the last thing I want is my opponent to see, and sort of, you know, feel me, feel sorry for me because I'm getting all sad. So like you always, try, I always try and buck up and go, you know what? Uh, try not to think about it too much. I'll, I'll go home tonight or, or later this afternoon. I'll, I'll do a bit of a debrief in my head and I'll, and I'll go through the points that basically I've screwed up somewhere. I need to work out where in order to, to get better. Mm. Uh, and that's, I think that's, uh, that's certainly that's what I try and do. And I think, again, what makes a great opponent, and I think it's it's uh, continuous improvement, always trying to to get better at your gaming, whether that's, you know, in the fun aspect or whether it's knowing the rules better or making sure you pack more deodorant or whatever whatever it is. Can it's, I jump in on that? Yep. And just say, all right, that's fair enough for a, a game, gaming group where guys might play together regularly like we do. But what about one-off games at, at tournaments like that where... You know, you you might never play this guy again. Uh, yeah, I think I think that's a very interesting point. I think I'm, when I go to a tournament, I'm not expecting to play great players. I'm expecting to have a good time because that's where I am. But I'm expecting to go to a tournament, and I'm expecting to, to play competitively because you're paying to play at the end of the day. I'm hoping to walk away knowing more about the game. I'm also hoping to make new friends and meet new people, um, but not necessarily to play great uh, opponents. I wish I wish we could. But unfortunately, the world doesn't work that way. We're all different. We all we all move in different ways. And I, and I was chatting to Money about our last Kings of War tournament. And it really taught me something post that tournament, which we haven't talked about, is that I had uh, I had a game and I got sads a, a, a little bit about, and and um, I sort of had a bit of a a bit of a crying muddy shoulder about it <laughs> afterwards. And and then I sort of thought I was actually thinking about this topic. I was thinking, you know what? I've just been a bit of a douchebag, really. At the end of the day, I was like, I've got a man up. Like the guy had a fair point. You know, I, particularly what happened was I, I moved a unit, and then after I'd moved it, I went back and moved it again. And he, he, according to the rules, he said you can't do that. And 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 look, he called me on it, and, and I sort of thought, well, look, it was it was it was not that big a deal, I thought. But to his enjoyment of the game, I, I was not playing within the rules, and that's that's totally fair enough. And really, you got to honour that and not really whinge about it. And I sort of had a bit of a whinge about it, so it was uh, it was not good. So that's part of that continuous improvement. It's like learning to go. You know what? When you play another opponent. You got to sort of fit in with them as well. I reckon you got you can't just go. Eh, it's all about me. You got to take in that uh, you know, the, the the other person you're playing and that sort of social contract and go. You know what? Um, I'm also here. You know, for your enjoyment as well, not just mine. And make sure you fit in with them. You can feel it if somebody is not having a, a good time. Yeah, right? or you can see it body language. It doesn't yeah. matter because I have won some games, not many, but. I don't get much of enjoyment if I'm kicking your teeth in and I'm just continually trying to kick your teeth in and you're, you've are you just got a sad on. But that doesn't give me any mm. anything. Um, my, mine's pretty simple. If you're, if you're a casual person and you can get into the cinema of the game and one point you didn't pick up is if your stuff's not painted, <laughs> it bugs me. Like yeah. I'm not yeah. saying you have to be the best painter. I'm far from that. But if your stuff's not painted, I'm already having less of a good time because I feel like you're either you're just being lazy with the game or you're being some form of power gaming because it's the latest thing and that's the big the cool thing, right? But if you've got it all painted and let's say you're playing some crappy army, like I'm playing like I'm playing mm, the Tomb true, Kings. True, actually, I'm playing yeah. the Tomb Kings, mm. right? Because all oh, the lizards or whatever, whatever point during the gaming cycle, and they're crap. Let's say I'm not playing them because they're top tier. I'm playing them because I like the cinema of their of them. I like the theme for them, and I'm there to have a good time with them. Now I might not win all my games, but it doesn't really matter. And if my opponent is of the same ilk where they're just like, look, things happen, or I double one this or whatever, and they have a laugh about it. Doesn't really matter who wins. Like it's like, yeah, it's great. I might get a trophy or something. Yay! But to me, the best, the the best trophy of the lot, best sports. Yeah, hundred percent. I now you would probably say best painting. Well, I would, yeah. <laughs> I I don't aspire to anything of that. Like if I can win win some games and and or probably get my teeth kicked into some of them as well, and still walk away with the best sport, best sports because. I go into it and I just, I'm there to have fun. I'm not there to try and get the trophy, you know, whatever. I'm there just to get away for the weekend. We've got the missus and the kids. I want to go away. I want to roll some dice. I want to have a laugh. I want to socialize. I don't want to have 
16,000 games in a day and not get to talk to anyone. I actually want to roam around, have a few drinks, have a laugh, look at people's painted stuff and say, all right, what are we doing afterwards? Mm. Yeah, man. After the tournament's yeah. over, what are we doing? Because I, I want to go out. I, I think this is, something. this is all good stuff if we're about to do an episode about running an event. Like what we want to see when we run events, or what we would do if we run events, or even out of curiosity, well, when we did, out of, when we when we, we did go yeah. events as a group, but whenever we're when we go down to say, I mean, I can't call, I was going to say can't call, but if, if as an individual, like you go to Kings of War, perhaps by yourself sometimes. Yeah, um, I've been to you know can't call by myself, and um, you know we've been going to tournaments without you know without yeah. our group, yeah. gaming group. Yep. Um, so it's not all you know can't always go out afterwards, and I can't we choose not to. Yep. Um, I suppose it's, it's about yeah how you. I don't know. You front up to those tournaments. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah, no, it's interesting. What about you, Jacob? What what's what what does make uh, what makes a great opponent? Uh I got a couple of notes here. A couple of notes. And see I think notes, it's see, see, see how see good the notes are. Here. No. <laughs> Whatever. That's all right. It's you know, it's just how we roll. I'm freestyling. You old school, baby. You are definitely <laughs> old school. <mate. laughs> You're definitely doing something. Yep. Now, um, it's in this cup. <laughs> for me, I guess the main thing is um, that they're there to enjoy the game as well. Mm. And and I think that's the difference between a good game and a, and a great game is, you know, me, I'm going to be down bottom half of the draw most tournaments I play in. And I'm putting this around tournament play because playing you guys or playing our sort of close gaming group, the reason we have a close gaming group is because we like to play each other. We consider each other great opponents. So that's kind of by the by. But, you know, if I go to an, a tournament and I play someone who is there to win I mean good on them as you said they pay their money it's a competitive environment and you know and I'll try and give them the best game I can which is why I felt bad with John Um, because I didn't challenge him at all but what I think makes the great games is when people are in the game with you like they're not opposing you in the game I mean even it's a game of opposition is that when they're there they're in the moment they want to create that cool it comes back to that narrative too the story of the game They're, they're there and they enjoying the story of the game too and that's hard to get an opponent and I think if we go back to what was being said on our socials we get the same things come up time and time again people are courteous people aren't cheating people have their yeah. dice people you know that's all good but, but that's that's I not just, the great opponent that's, to, yeah, that's, that's your, your baseline that's your average. if you're that's not doing point. that you're a bad opponent and yeah, we exactly don't want to give them right. any airtime. But so it's that next step up for me that if I want to play someone that wants to, to play the game not necessarily win it and I know that sounds retarded and I apologize to the retards out there but it's just that whole you know it's it's hard to sort of picture again coming from me I know I'm never going to win a tournament and that's fine I mean I've won one and it was at doubles and I was with John uh, JT so he carried me the whole way list though wasn't it it wasn't filthy. But I think just, from memory, it was a pretty uh, filthy list. I, I don't think oh, okay. I don't think there's anything wrong I with think three, JT three tags. Pretty in much there. made the list, and it was pretty filthy from memory. Yeah, so, oh, uh, yes, by the by, doesn't matter. Um, so you know, it's it's for me. I, I go to events for the same reason Marty does. You want to meet people, you want to socialize. Did, didn't win the best sports out there. No, no, we won the we won first place. That was pretty sweet. <laughs> I think we've already discussed best sports is the best. Training. But you could you could potentially win first and best sports. Yeah, you potentially. Could. I could, could potentially. Yeah. And you didn't win. Hey, best talking sports. about uh, who does that? I'm cutting you off because um, you're a power guy. Oh, that's all right. Um, bloody Bergs, Burgers. What are you on about? Oh, he he made, he made a post on. Oh, our sorry. Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. I remember Great. that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember I that game too. Yeah, yeah. Because he he plays it in the spirit of the game too. Hundred percent. Absolutely. And I yeah. knew as soon as I had him as an opponent, I rocked up, and I had a smile from ear to ear because I knew straight away. Oh, this is going to be classic. Doesn't matter which way it goes, and that in that particular instance, all right. Yep, I slapped him around. Yep, I bitched him, but. We had a cracking game, and like he he didn't hold back. And I, I was playing Team Kings. He had the high elves, and we had a. Uh, I probably had the advantage in a way because I played, you know, yeah, you Greg yeah, so yeah. much with your high elves. I knew what was going on, and you mm. know the team guard tore him up. Yep. Yeah, and it was it was a cracking game. I I no yep. He, that, he, there's an opponent there that like straight away I knew straight away. Yeah. I bet you he's got a room full of trophies for he's best for sports. For best sports. Yeah. I wonder how many he's got. I don't know. I'll hit him up. We'll, we'll, we'll hit him up on socials. Get him yeah, out. Yeah, get, yeah. Him get, get a number. Brag a little bit. Yeah, he plays a, a lot of um, different events too, doesn't he? He plays heaps of different systems. Yeah. Like yeah. Heaps. Um, and I, I think it was on Facebook where I said, you know, I said to him, 
I've never beaten him, so it's obviously not the reason I like playing him. But then he said, he came back and said, actually, no, you did beat me. And I think the game was so enjoyable. I didn't even remember who won. And if I won an Infinity game at a tournament, then I'd usually remember that shit. Like, that's it's rare. <laughs> you know? Oh, wait up. You're just talking about his big win, mate. What's that? What's going on here? No, so, you know, it's, I think it's great. That, you know, he's an opponent that I've played and beaten, and that's rare for me. But the, the game was just so cool. We played on Greg's jungle table. We heavy infantry list. We just ran at each other. It was just, it was a mince meat yeah. left. There was nothing left on the table. So because we we played each other at the Kings event too. I had some good because I played Neil. Oh, that's right. I played yeah, Neil, yeah. Like, yep. First round, and he like was like we were smiling before we even got to the event because I knew I was playing Neil. Yeah. Neil's a great opponent too. Top and dude. then I played yourself as well. So it was yeah, like, that was like, a lot of fun. Was, you know, like, there was quite a few good games at that that event. Yep. But with you two, I you knew straight away. Before, but I didn't need, like no thought required whatsoever. I knew, oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it just does not matter. Like I know was cool. no shenanigans yeah. are going to occur. Yeah, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yep. All right, that's interesting. I think we, you know, if I was going to picture an ideal opponent at a tournament, if I want to rock up and go right round one, you plan this guy. And I'd be happy about that. It'd be great for sure. Yeah. Um, not you guys, because you smash me too much. I did. That actually happened to me at CanCon, not this year, last year. I got Greg first game, and he beat me. <laughs> he <laughs> stalled me did up. Did he zip you? Yeah. He zipped you? Oh, I don't think... I can't remember if he zipped me, but he beat me. And I remember one element of the game where Infinity... Um, the way, oh, used this D20s. Is Infinity? Yeah, 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 use yeah. D20s. What's D20? And what essentially, you, and you, you, you score a critical wound on a one number out of the 20. On and the target it, number. Yeah, on the target number. And if you get that, it bypasses all the armor. Just to explain a little bit about the mechanics. So anyway, so I was shooting a particular element of Greg's army. He needed a one, like one out of 20, like literally the number one on D20 to, to crit me, right? And I, I roll like four dice. I'm like, I've still got this. You know, I was using my HMG. I was like, this is going to tile him up big time. Anyway, I rolled up and uh, hit him four times. I'm like, great. He rolled it up. What did he get? He got a bloody one. I thought, oh, I like, but I thought of all the people, you know, you'd want yeah, you're to get yeah, 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 yeah. one for You'd want yeah. Greg to get it. Yep. That's, That's it. it. Um, what do you think about, and uh, this is a bit of a curveball, and I apologize in advance. Oh, here we go. Is this on the, is this on the cheat sheet? Uh, it's on my notes. Oh, did you get did you this? you want to look? No, no. Because we didn't, you know, we don't talk about this beforehand, oh, remember? Yeah. We don't this, is this, is this is all live. This is natural. This is live. <laughs> yeah. Raw. Bring Raw. it on. Come on, bring it on. Um, this, is, and again, this is a different one. What, what when players, even you plan to play, and you think they're being overly accommodating? Does that ever happen to you guys? No, I'm usually over, I'm probably really one of them. And I think like that's if if someone I I've even that last Kings event I think someone missed their shooting phase and and we were already in my turn I'm like dude just take the yeah. shots yeah like who cares it's just a bunch of plastic models I and mean, I'm not going to win anything so if that gets you an extra couple of pips yeah. on on my nerve check or something yay I am um, yeah hundred percent Sam a person you've mentioned right John Yance I just specifically recall in that last term Infinity tournament we played. The first game we played was just ridiculous. Yeah. Um, he he was just he kept he like he would do something. Go, oh, hang on, a second, didn't do that right. Like he was self-correcting himself throughout the entire in a really like positive. It was just it was a ridiculously awesome game where he would do something. Go, no, hang on, just quickly just check the rules. It was just it was so really like so you guys were letting each other go back and, and finish off oh 100% maybe you had, yeah, yeah that's yeah, what I mean yeah, like it's a game it so in fact I, I, I think I remember again out of sequence said, oh can I do this and he's like yeah man just do it and I was like oh sweet that's cool yeah um, but so that's good. again that's that's probably not even over accommodating that's just being a to good to me that's just opponent. being a good person a gentleman yeah can I say that gentleman gentleman, gentleman? in these days gentleman is, is there such gentry gone Does, I'll put it out to people do you do you get satisfaction in maybe winning a close game because your opponent forgot to cast with one of the magic users or take a shot with a particular dude because in the pressure of the game they they just ran out of time or they just forgot about it? Like, does that really give you any satisfaction? Well, certainly, certainly the opponents I've played, um, you know, in tournaments over the past ten years, I, I think very few people would say yeah they would take oh, satisfaction I... from that. I think in general. The Queensland gaming scene is in a really good spot. I think yeah. across systems, I think you know, good bunch of dudes. Um, there's very few because it is very tools. scattered. 
Yeah, there's yeah. very few. T- I'm, you know, I'm talking about Kings of War Infinity here because that's yeah, probably yeah, the two, two bit, yeah. most recent that yeah. we've played in. Mm. Well, I played, you know, I don't play Infinity, um, but I've, I've played. Have I played two of your? Yeah, yeah, doubles. We played two doubles. doubles other than the, it was on Grand Final Day. Well, well, well done, boys. That's um, right. We so saved you the pain of watching this. I kind of missed the third game, but uh, the third, yeah, the third, it's the third game, right? Yeah. Um, damn, bloody Bulldogs beat the Swans. Um, but anyway, um, I found that it was a good, like, I didn't really know the rules and whatnot, um, but I found it both times very enjoyable with mm. the opponents we had, um, no dramas, and they all knew that I didn't really know what I was pretty much doing, and I would just kind of say out loud what I was trying to do, and then they would kind of just talk you through, the, like, and you do as, as, as your, my team member, were talking me through the process of what I couldn't, couldn't do and what I needed to roll, mm. essentially. Yeah, no, I think it's, um, I think... The Queen's insane at the moment, certainly for King's War and Infinity are in good spots, I reckon, in good places. And yep. uh, from what I hear from Jono, ninth is, is kind of the same mm. with Haig and, and his crew um, playing you know, garage games with ninth age. Yep. I mean, obviously they're ex uh, Warhammer Fantasy players. Refugees, and, yeah. And we, we know them pretty well, and they're, they're a top bunch of dudes as well. So um, I think gaming in general is pretty good. Almost needs like a convention or something. Well, BrizCon is coming up. BrizCon, right? BrizCon is coming up, yeah. Is Is that going to run all the different codes? Yeah. Codes, you mean games? Codes. Yeah, well, that's pretty much what we're at right now. Yeah, yeah. No, it's got it's got a ton of games. We fight a lot sometimes between us, sometimes like it's football codes. On the web, like I don't know them all, but the webpage, it's chock is full of... Yeah, we'll put the the link up on our social media pages if anyone wants it. Yep. Um, Yeah, I think... April? Yeah, end of April. Twenty. So that's the one. Neil. To Neil. Um, Neil's running the. I'm pretty sure the Kings of War event there. Yeah. I don't know much about the ninth and, and Infinity. And Infinity uh, is busy, and busy. we've got. I think we're close to the cap. Last yeah, I really got to buy my ticket. Uh, Have you not bought it yet? No, we played I'm not you, it. Norbert. We played busy in that uh, the doubles, right? Yes, we did. Yeah. Uh, with Greg. Greg yeah. And busy. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're, they're good guys. Yep. yep. Um. So, would you please buy your ticket? I will. I will buy my ticket. Dan, if you're listening to this, hold this. me a spot. Quick be before fun. the free set of steak knives go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, that's cool. That's cool. Um, I guess that, you know, if we could sum it up pretty quickly, we've all agreed, and I'm, I'm not surprised that we'll agreed because we played so long together that we've, you know, we've got a common understanding. But um, so I think I made some quick notes here. I said we want painted armies, Muddy, correct? Yeah. I, come on, guys. Because you on. want, and I think if I'm going to get down to the core of it, that shows your opponent's making an effort to make the game enjoyable for you too. Well, I think we spoke last week. I like the thematic of the board. Yeah. And now just seeing unpainted models on the board just takes me out of that. You know, the board doesn't look as good. So I don't really want to push my stuff around as much. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's as simple as that. Like, I can't, you know, Yep, that's my thing. Um, we also said that we want considerate opponents, that we want to take the time and make sure you're enjoying the game as well. Mm. To separate from the good player, yeah, like if they're smashing the average, your so w- w- yeah. what's your baseline compared to what you're great? If they're smashing yeah. your teeth in, you know, box of tissues. <laughs> That's right. You know, Buy the beer. Bring you a Buy drink. Buy the beer. Yeah. Um, you know, maybe give you a reach around. Uh, you know, yeah, maybe not. Well, when they're pounding you, <laughs> how's it get something out of it? <laughs> That's it. I've often thought that um, after a particularly bad loss, that they'd be nice if they could buy me breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. I mean, that's what I used to do. Oh, Blood Bowl. Oh, Blood Bowl. Man. Uh, I think we've just opened a can of worms here. Oh, dude, man, that's yeah. That's... It's one of those games, like, uh, the, the amount of memories where things, when things are good in that game, they're so good. Oh, they are yeah. so good. Yeah, like, yeah, I, remember, yeah. I don't know how many times in, in our local tournaments, like, I'd get, I think one day tournaments we used to do, I used to get to the last top table, right? Last game. So many times. And then I'd get belted, like, in the choke. last game. And then you go back down to seventh or something. And it used to annoy me. But anyway, when things are going good in that game, it's like a mil- like it's, it's crazy. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And then when they're not, like I remember playing you, all I need to do is not roll a one, you know, and then I could throw. Against my dwarves. Catch, score, it's done. The perfect play set up, <laughs> right? Double one. <laughs> and then it, something stupid like it bounces in, you know, with tackle zones into a dwarf, you know, needs like, 18 to, to catch it, you know, roll, roll it up, yeah, he catches it, walks it in, scores, I lose. And you're like, oh. Yeah, 100%. Frustrating. Yeah. But I think Blood Bowl is one of those really good things that I think about good opponents that I've had in the past, is that I've had games where I've been absolutely smashed in Blood Bowl. You've seen me down at Equal. 
I, that was the only time I've ever thrown with the, a with miniature the, across the, the room. The unbeatable list. Yeah, with let's not even go there. You're you going to get to like first, first place. First year we went down. Yeah, with my, yeah. Second, second year. Second. second year. Where you then went and bought the dodgy dice, and you and you had the best comeback of you did. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. They gave you yeah. A, a prize or something for it? Yeah, because I lost three, then you won three. You bought the... Was it Nuffle Rocks? Nuffle Rocks dice. dice. That's correct. Yeah. Oh, they are to be banned. I don't know what they're like now, they but... should be. They were horrendous. And six, I think Yuke Ball was, was good because it was at the RSL. That, I mean, I've had opponents at the end go, right, that was rough. Come downstairs. I'm going to buy you a, a shot. Because it was only five... Yeah. Was, the meal... I was going to say, I thought they were going to buy you a meal because the meals oh, were only like five bucks. How good meal. was it there? Yeah, yeah, yeah it was good. Burwood. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah Schooners were two yeah. ninety. It was oh, just insane. Yeah. Where is it? Oh, that's, <laughs> that's, that's a great opponent right <laughs> you there. Dancing yeah. on the chairs at the RSL. At, yeah, oh, at three yeah. in the morning. Well, and the security guard's just like, yeah, guys, you, you're fine. Keep, yeah. you know, Allegedly. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. That allegedly. Was, that was and gold. that's uh, a barmaid that just allegedly wanted us to leave so hard. I don't recall her wanting us to leave. No. I, I seem to recall, allegedly, that uh, she's given... Um, she, she was loving serving us from memory like us mixing we like, drinks at the bar we were asking for um, J- Jacob's shaking his head I, yeah. I don't know why he's shaking his head on drinks I'm but for her. why because she was so fed up with our shit by the end of the night <laughs> We pulled we pulled a table up to the bar. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah we couldn't fit the bar, so we dragged a table the sec- over to the yeah, bar. Yeah, that was the such security, a good idea. The security guy said, "Look, you guys are having a good, you know free room." Yeah, we thought, "Oh, here we go." He's you know he's marching over here. Here we go. And he's like, "No, no, no, you just got to come inside." Yeah, yeah. And so, oh, all right. So we got the tables and we set it right at the bar. Like the yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right. And he's yeah. like, yeah. Thumb, yeah. you know, thumbs yeah. up. You're yeah. off. You're We're off, like, boys. Ridiculous. Yeah, like. they don't care. They got to keep the pokies open till four AM anyway. Yeah. So the mass will keep us there. Exactly. Well, she, I think she wanted to go home. Maybe. Yeah, she definitely did. <laughs> yeah. Not with any of us either. No. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> Although, just if you if you're uh, if you're if you're put the summary to this, the other thing to do is uh, you know being a, being a, a great opponent is not to. Uh, Power stance. Power stance. Power stance. Oh, I did. Power stance. I have thought of this a little because I remember a game we had in the doubles tournament. We got best sports. <laughs> I won't talk about who the opponents were, <laughs> but do you remember ball scratcher? <laughs> uh. Do you remember the ball scratcher? How, how could how could you forget that? Oh. Was the hand going up the pants leg? It was or down. It, man, he was needless to say, we didn't. I didn't check. I think I saw uh. him licking his nuts. Like <laughs> seriously. <laughs> <laughs> so I, he, look, and he, he didn't look like he'd gotten any action anytime soon. Oh. So I don't think he had any. Just, just listeners, just, either. just for your uh, information, this is a game where, in my life, I had to actually walk away from the table. He left me. Yeah, he I, left I just me. left you to, to play the whole with ball game. Yeah, yeah. I just couldn't cope. I had to walk away. Oh, I, I just was, couldn't cope with it. Yeah, he was he was getting right into it. So <laughs> Speaking of right pants, pants it. related, gaming opponents and stuff. I was once playing a gentleman. Um, and he said to me, he said, whatever you do, don't turn around now. And I'm like, what's going on? He said, because there is so much ass crack. Oh, that's no. Just, that is inches from you. Oh. And I'm like, you can't help but look, can you? Oh, no. He got my vote for best sports. Yeah. <laughs> he got my vote because I turned around and went, Wow, oh, you're right. I should not have I done that. I should not have done that. I should have listened to you. Oh, I bet you've still got that memory too. I need I to do. Di- I, need, your head. I need to digress. Okay, here comes a moment of history that stuck with me. <laughs> so right. I must be about 12 or 13. I'm living in South Windsor, New South Wales. <laughs> we need some music. And there like, is, we need like, like, we do, a, yeah, a little there like is, a sequence like music. Like a throwback music. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm at the KFC. I'm at the KFC. And there's this lady. I'm pretty sure it's a lady. She has a beard. She's got the beard, and it's like a real, like, you know, like the, the fluffy 17-year-old sort of beard. You know, it's not really full. It's just curly, but it's long enough to get chicken caught in the beard. And this thing's big. It's big. It's hairy. It's got chicken stuck in its beard. Now, I was repulsed. Everybody is. <laughs> but I could not look away. <laughs> I just had to keep having another look. <laughs> just see if that shit was real. It's, and it's real. Like, I, do I need to pinch myself at some point here? At some point, you got to go, you know what? I, I've got to look somewhere else. Right? But no, you just keep, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's really there. And, and more chickens just getting caught. Oh, more, more chicken. No. Right? Like, 
So I don't know where yeah, I, why yeah. that, that story just came to me, but it did. There you go. I think, no. Oh, we're talking about there ass cracks. There you go. Ass cracks. cracks. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. There's, Chicken there's my ass crack story. Does that make it? Involved a... no ass crack. That's right. Did you buy her breakfast? Hell or... no. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Never forget that. It's another moment in time. It's, <laughs> that stains my. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think we're gonna learn so much about you. Oh, Get cold sweats about you still. Yeah. Giving me vodka. Who needs to pay for therapy? Out. You can just. Uh... I'll need a box of tissues. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, yeah, well, anyway, we'll just hey, move swiftly hey, off hey, that. Hey, that's what's coming out. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> All right, in real tears. Oh shit! All right, so anyway, any closing thoughts, Marty, that aren't ass crack or chicken beard related? Ooh, um. Great. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Can I watch the Swans play now? <laughs> uh, are, they being, are they getting beaten by the dogs again? I'll be really upset. It like, wouldn't be... Wouldn't I, really I think, um, just uh, just in closing, I think, it's a difficult topic because uh, it's very subjective and I think our Facebook um, um, feedback, I guess, or, or the socials, I've said that. Like, it's, it's you know, you read the comments and it's kind of generically the same, but it sort of it slants it, you know, sometimes either way. So it's it's a, it's a very subjective thing. But I think at the end of the day, it's all about um, enjoyment. And then they look, we're we're rocking up, especially to the tournament. We're you know paying coin, we will rock up. Man, you want to walk away and enjoy yourself. I think that's damn what, straight, uh, absolutely. Uh, you know, we all do. You know, we don't walk away and and, and be that guy uh, or or play that guy. Um, so I think um, just walk away and hopefully you've enjoyed yourself. That's what it's all about. You know. That's we, why you we, get into the game. It's a, the it's a hobby, place, right? isn't it? Um, we're not we're not playing for kettle stations. Did yeah. did anyone get into the game to win trophies and impress Shit, chicks no. with their awesome <laughs> yeah. first place trophies? Cause the chicky boobs. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I got to say that my first tournament, I won best sports in, and that really influenced me right right there. But you didn't go into the event going, "I'm going to be awesome and win this, and then no. I'm going to get chicks." Absolutely not. All right. So I don't know. Um, I'll. I'll Add to this, I, I wonder, I don't know, put this out to people, um, are people that are more, how do I put this, wholly reliant on the game system, more inclined to be possibly less sporting, less good opponents, than maybe <laughs> someone who has a more balanced Life, maybe you know they have gotcha. other things, right. so it's yeah, not yeah, as yeah. important to them. So you're That's saying a very interesting point. Someone has a better game slash life balance. Yeah, like as I'm saying, like if you have a better in, uh, life balance, are you less inclined to be so well, anal? Yeah, yeah. Really, good point. Because like yeah. I don't care yep. if I because I'm still going to go home <laughs> to a loving wife. With, you know, the Mrs. Kids. Yep. I've still got. Swans are losing, but um, you know, Sydney FC still doing pretty good, so that's good. I still got other things to do. I think that's a very, very good point. Mm. Mm. I'm full of good points, full of them, full of them. You're full of something. Yeah, we, I'm full of it. <laughs> I think it's definitely on our list for future episodes. Is is game slash life balance um, something to talk about? That would be a very good topic. Um, because you know, we we do get full on sometimes. I, I certainly do for for Windows couple of weeks at a time I might get a bit full on but then I'll back right off for a little I, while I'll tell you that's right and uh, maybe this I should probably keep this for another episode but this is right I probably shouldn't say this do it but <laughs> do it do it anyway I was I was um, last year I was painting up a miniature right and I got I got really into it like I was full into it like every spare moment I was trying to research how to do like NMM, NMM technique the normal metallic non metal metallic yeah. anyway right oh yeah so oh, yeah I know. We know pain. anyway anyway I'm, I'm being I'm, I'm having a special moment with the uh, with the missus shall we say and all I've got in my mind is 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 this bloody miniature no, no, and I'm no, thinking how to get a darker more contrast I'm thinking I know I shouldn't be thinking this right now but I can't get out of my head I really need to stop these bad thoughts and I just couldn't I could not get it out of my head <laughs> Did you come? <laughs> <laughs> if I was thinking can we bleep that out? Like, can we bleep that out? Because <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's that's something I would use as a, like a non-coming technique. No. <laughs> Surely. Yeah, I normally go through the uh, no. current current Socceroos roster. <laughs> <laughs> Number oh one, God. Matt Ryan. Number two, ah, uh, too bad. <laughs> oh, too late. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it got it got me uh, that that wow. that night. Next morning, I was like, "Wow, I just can't believe that happened." Anyway, right back in, and it got started painting again. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, 
I don't need to worry about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, not a, that's not a problem. That's not a problem. No, that's not a problem. Everybody does that. <laughs> yeah. That sounds, that sounds pretty normal. I think... <laughs> I think well, a lot of our listeners will relate uh, to that. Anyone who has a psychology degree... Yeah, anyone who can trump uh, that, I'd like to hear from shoot you. Shoot off the, uh, Greg's through an email. All right, on that note, I think we will end the little discussion. Thank you, everyone, for listening. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Power Stance Gamers. Please uh, email subscribe Greg. to... Email Greg. Greg. <laughs> Let him know what his problems are. <laughs> Look, if you are trained... Yeah, you're the one with the bloody bit of chicken in the, in the chick's beard. It's not my fault. <laughs> she put it there. <laughs> Look us up on Twitter and Facebook. Subscribe to our feed on iTunes and Podbean if that's your thing. You get the app for that. Otherwise, that's it. Thanks very much. Thank you for listening to Power Stance Gamers, the number one place for tabletop venture. You know you love us. See you soon. It's eternal and mixed well on the track once again. Killing it, uh. Dot to munch for y'all connection, funk resurrection. Ha! Yeah.